Hi, welcome to a 2 zknowledgecom and to my channel Data Engineering. So today we are going to discuss about the Spark Submit. So how to deploy a, a code, a Spark code by a Spark Submit. And before getting into that, uh, we're going to discuss about how to build a jar file for the code. So how to do the ID setup. So like Eclipse, it could be IntelliJ. So how to do an Eclipse or IntelliJ, the ID setup, and then how to create a jar file and then how to deploy that in cluster mode with Yon and without Yon. Okay, so this is what we're going to discuss today. So uh, here I uh, have a, a sample code, which is just a word count. So the agenda is not about the code. The agenda is about the way how we submit the job. Okay, so here is the word count program. So uh, I will explain you how to create a project. So here we are going to use a Maven project, not a normal project. Okay. And this process you can use for both Java and Scala, but I'm going to show you Scala here. So uh, you can go ahead with file new and you will be seeing an option other. So here you have to choose Maven project and then next. So here you have option create a simple project. So just click this and then next. And here we can give some names. So I'll go with the test uh, and then artifact ID as test. It's like a project name that we give. So like group ID and artifact ID is important when we go for Maven project structure. So Maven is a build tool, which we are already aware. So if people are new for Maven, just Google it, what is Maven? So Maven is a place where we don't want to worry about collecting the libraries to uh, resolve the dependency problems in the code. Uh, the Maven will take care. If we just mention what uh, version of Spark libraries are required, just mention mentioned that only so maven itself will download the libraries from the uh, central maven repository in uh, behalf of you and then it will create a local path in your machine it will store all the libraries whatever we mention it to the maven project i will show you everything so now click finish so whenever we create a maven project it is by default it will be like uh, java so if you see here in the folder you can see a small m right uh, a small uh, uh, M and then J. So Maven, J for Java. But if you see the remaining two projects uh, above to the test, you can see M and S. So that means S for Scala. So by default, Maven is a Java project. So you can change the structure of this. So before I just forget to mention one thing, you have to download the Eclipse uh, called Scala Eclipse. So you have to download that from the Eclipse website. It is there, an Eclipse for Scala. So where you can uh, write a code for both Scala as well as Java. So here now we have to change the uh, structure of Java to Scala. So just right click and uh, there will be an option called configure and then you can give add Scala structure. So after this, you can see Scala library will be get added before we had only JRE but now we got this Scala library as well so the spark version what I'm currently using is 2.4 so my Scala version should be 2.11 it should not be 2.12 you have to match that before you start writing your code so two things I have to change I have to change my JDK version and then I have to change my Scala version so go right click properties and uh, java build path <clears throat> just click this option and you can see here first we can uh, change the jdk it, it should be uh, uh, jdk 1.8 so i'll go for alternate jre i have already installed jdk 1.8 in my local machine so i have to browse that directory so go for installed jre as you can see i have already added the jdk uh, which is installed in my home folder if you want to do it uh, newly i will show you how you have the option add and then you have to click the standard jvm next and just browse your jdk directory so in my home so if you see in my home i'm, I'm having my jdk here so it is here jdk 1.8.0 underscore 45 just click ok so what it will do it will bring all the libraries of jdk here and then you have to give finish but i am giving cancel because i have already added it so it will be here then you can click of the one which you added and give apply and close and now in the drop down list you can able to see your jdk just choose this finish so you are changing your jdk now we have to change our scala library as well just click this edit and then you will be seeing 2.11 click finish yes apply and close so now the versions has been changed now you can just i will share you this code uh, and uh, i will share you this code you can just copy paste this code and you can add it over there so if you see this is the code that i have uh, already builded here so this is my actual code uh, you can see here yeah so my code is here 
okay so now what is the next important thing is palm.xml so palm.xml is a place where you have to mention all the dependency information like uh, which version of scala libraries or spark libraries or hive library or hadoop library you want to download from the internet means maven will download it for you but for maven you have to inform which version of these dependencies are required so for our code as of now we need only spark so if you see i'll just show you my palm.xml of my previous project so in palm.xml i've just added so the, the these things you will be seeing default so you can see like i have added this dependency it has to be so i will share this palm.xml also uh, so this information will be there in the description box of the video where i will be giving the links for all this okay so 2.4 is my uh, spark version and then uh, uh, spark core is what required for this program so i've just added only this and this 2.11 is denoting the scala version of the spark 2.4 okay don't get confused and one more thing i have to add here is this piece so i have to build the jar file so maven will build the jar file for you so to to do that means uh, for maven when it build a jar file for you it will build the jar file only for the code not for the dependencies okay so if you want to build the code along with the dependencies what you have added the spark core then you have to add this piece if you add this piece then only maven will build your uh, jar file with code and dependency so that you will not get any error when you run it in the terminal in the runtime so uh, to do that you have to add this you have to give the entire package name dot class name and then in the description you can give jar with dependency so that the maven will build a jar with dependencies okay so once this is done uh, what you have to do is right click run as maven clean and then maven install so uh, uh, how uh, so when this jar file will be get created by maven so when you give maven install and you can see there is a target folder here so under this target folder the jar files will be get created by maven so you can see this is what maven will create by default so this is without dependency but if you see this jar file it has with the dependency so for this only we have added this properties here okay so now i'm i'm gonna uh, do maven clean when i give maven clean what will happen right it will delete the jar files so each and every small change is what you do in the code you have to do a maven clean and then maven install sometimes what people will do they will just do some changes in the code but they forget to do the maven clean and install that means the new jar file will not be get created so the 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 code is new but the jar is old so still they will get the same error so whenever you do changes here you have to clean the maven run as maven clean so this will delete the target folder itself you can able to see here okay so the target folder is gone now right click run as maven install so this will create the target folder and and the jar file will be there okay and in the code you can see i am going to read the input file from hdfs not from local and then the final output of word count i am writing it back to hdfs okay and one more thing i am giving this set jar okay so this set jar is nothing but the jar file which the maven will create for you the with dependency one i am giving the entire path here the reason if i remove this i am getting some logging issue and that's why i've just added this in the code okay so uh, i'm i'm not sure like what was the error but when i add it it is working fine so and that's the reason i've just added this set jar here there is nothing new for you to for, for I means uh, for me to explain to you because word count program is very familiar for you people the only thing i want to say this set jar why i'm giving this and then the input is hdfs and output is writing to hdfs so the jar file is done build to success now the target folder is created you can able to see the jar file got created now uh, we can go with the command to execute this so spark submit iphone iphone class you have to give your package name dot class name and master yawn and then deploy mode is cluster and then i am giving my executor as one and again you want to give driver memory executor memory uh, driver core uh, sorry executor core it's up to your choice i am not giving those other memory properties i am giving only the executor and then the jar file name here so if if you want to run if you want to run it yawn you have to give yawn here no i am not going to run this on yawn i am going to run it on spark standalone cluster that means without yawn then what you have to do you have to remove this yawn here instead you have to give your spark master url so spark master url means start your spark demons and then go to localhost 8080 you will be seeing an url here this is your spark master url 
okay so after master you have to paste this if you want if you don't want yarn means no i don't, i'm going to deploy this in yarn then you have to go with yarn here so that means you need to start both hadoop demons and spark demons before running this command because you are running it on yarn so you need hadoop okay now copy this and then go to terminal and then just paste it from the spark folder so the job gets started so since i'm submitting this in yarn right so i have to check i have to monitor the job in yarn url so yarn url is 8088 which is your uh, uh, resource manager url so okay so the job gets started so let's give some time for the job to get initialized So once it is initialized, we can able to monitor in the uh, yarn. So zero zero eight was the last one. So now it has the job ID should end with zero zero nine. Yeah, okay. So zero zero nine and it is an accepted state. Okay, in the terminal it is an accepted state. So accepted state and then it will be go, uh, moving to running and then finish. If it is failed, then it will be failed. So there is four states. I just wanted to tell you that there is a four four states in Spark. So now it's an accept, then it will be in running. Yeah, it's in running. So if there is no error, then it will be finished. So I will refresh this again. So now it's accepted will be get changed to running. So once it is finished, right? So we'll be getting the output in HDFS, not in local, okay? Because our, my input is HDFS and output is also in HDFS now. Yeah, you can even mention without. Uh, okay, it is finished, and uh, you can even uh, without this information, you can give local path also, and you can run it in Spark mode without yarn. Will it will work? So let me uh, do an ls quickly. So, uh, so what is my output folder directory name? Is word output two? Okay, is there a directory? Let's see. Okay, so it is here. Okay, word output two. Let me do a cat. Hadoop FS. Okay, it's Hadoop cat, not local cat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So ls word output two. So I have not given any repartition. So if you see like uh, uh, it is created as two. If you want only one, then you have to go for uh, repartition. So but I didn't go for it. I just uh, left leave it with the default one cat okay i'll just show you one partition so uh, this is hello to and welcome to let me show you my uh, input it's it's an, again in hdfs right so this is my input and i'm getting my output hello and welcome and uh, the remaining is high will be in the other another partition okay so thanks for watching a to z knowledge.com and my channel data engineering if you really like this video please do subscribe channel and forward this to your friends and colleague and i have shared my linkedin and instagram url in the description box please do follow me and i have given the link for uh, the complete uh, uh, youtube playlist for big data uh, links i have shared and the code and pom.xml links also i have shared and uh, stay touch with us and i have one more channel called startup idea so i need your support for that channel as well so thanks for watching and we do have a lot of other tech videos other than big data and we provide videos in two languages, English and Tamil. So thanks for watching A2Z Knowledge.com.